Well, and that was a powerful moment mm -hmm. in that uh, film, uh, Fireproof, where he came to the point, the main character came to the point of just saying, you know what, I have to make this decision that I love my wife more than mm -hmm. this, what the book, uh, the Love Dare book calls a parasite that is sucking the life mm -hmm. out of my marriage. And, uh, and we need to be real and honest here. Pornography is something that every man struggles with one time or another. And it's something that we need to know ourselves well enough to say, what is it? Where are the temptations? Uh, where am I allowing, uh, opening myself up to the possibility of temptation? And then it becomes just too easy to click or to, to turn on the TV to something where you know you shouldn't be watching. And, and you, even unknowingly, it's a subtle trick of the enemy. You can get his, uh, his talons, his claws in, and in your mind it gets a hook into the flesh and it just drags you down. It's a parasite. You've got to get rid of it. We need to know our, ourselves well enough to know how to put a roadblock up. Uh, for the Caleb, the character in the movie, he just said, well, I just, I just have to get rid of the computer itself. For others, it'll just be, well, I'm, I'm just not going to turn on the, the television. I know, and th this is something that I, I had came to the point with, with Anne. I said, Anne, you know what? I'm going to make a, a decision and with you. Anytime that I'm, I'm away from home and when I'm in a hotel room, I'm not even going to turn on the television. I want to mm -hmm. talk to you. You can check me mm -hmm. up on it. You can keep me accountable. Yeah. And you can ask me any question you want at any time, and, uh, and I'll be totally honest. Yeah, and that gives me mm -hmm. as a wife, a real sense of security knowing that we have identified that this is a potential problem in our marriage. Every male on the planet struggles, Ron, as you said, mm -hmm. at one time or another with temptations of the eyes. What mm -hmm. am I looking at? What is giving me pleasure through my eyes? And for me as a woman, women know this. Women know that men struggle that way. So men, don't fool yourselves. We know that. Mm -hmm. But for you to say openly to your spouse, Let's battle this together. We are going to stand on guard together. We are going to protect mm -hmm. our marriage together. But the man like, has to be like what you were, Ron, has to say, okay, even when we're not together physically, mm -hmm. you know you can trust mm -hmm. me that I'm not gonna, gonna yield to that temptation. And it's not something that you can do on your own strength, and I mm -hmm. wanna emphasize that. And that's where it comes back into the importance of receiving God's strength. <laughs> receiving uh, the Holy Spirit living in you and giving you the strength to resist. The Bible says there's no temptation that man has had that God hasn't given a way out. There is, is help. There's inner strength that we can draw on because He's there. He's inside of us. And so don't try to do it on your own. I encourage you to make sure you've taken that step and in inviting Him in and uh, do battle. <laughs> it's, there's spiritual battles going on that the enemy of your soul wants to, to drag you down. He wants to destroy your marriage. He wants to have these parasites hook into your flesh and suck the life out of your marriage. Don't let him. Mm -hmm. Say no and say, God help me, and he will. And so put up the roadblocks, put up the internet filters, put up the, the uh, decisions to just not do certain things or, and uh, be totally accountable to someone. Maybe it, it's a friend. Uh, that you say, you know, keep asking me the questions, or your spouse to say, anytime I want you to ask how I'm doing in this area, and you won't regret that. And that's mm -hmm. such, such an important area in marriages today. Yeah. It just seems to be an epidemic. You know what? Men aren't the only ones who struggle with parasites. I know that women, many women, are, are not content in their mm -hmm. marriage, and they're looking for an escape, and they find that escape in romance novels. It is a huge industry right now the romance novel and it's the escape where the women kind of live in a fantasy world of what love and romance looks like and maybe they're not receiving that at home and so they think well I'm just gonna allow myself to travel there and to think about other men or what it could be like in a perfect world if I lived in this romantic world of this romance novel I want to caution you do not let yourself, women, get sucked into that, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with going to a, a nice, you know, romantic movie or picking up a novel that has a little bit of romance in it. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's when it becomes an obsession. And you know when it becomes an obsession, when you just have to have the next one. You've got to read another one because real life is not that good. It's not that pleasant or pleasing. You know what? Put up a guard against that in your own life, women. Say no. 
I am not going to give in to that. I'm going to work on real life. I'm not going to escape into a fantasy world. Because you know what? Real life can be good and fulfilling. If you put the work into it, you will not regret it. So I encourage you to do that. And this book, The Love mm. Dare, really does give a lot of practical tips on how yeah. you, as a couple, can work on your marriage and put a guard up against those parasites mm -hmm. that want to suck the life out of your marriage. I encourage you to get this for yourself, for someone that you know mm -hmm. that maybe is struggling in various areas, or someone that's, you know, your marriage is fine and you just want to yeah. make sure that it has all the strength that God has for you and that yeah. it just takes you through His Word, what love really is all about. I encourage you, uh, go ahead, take the dare, dare to love.